And we're back. Welcome to a very special Christmas episode of Custom Robo. I don't normally announce when the uh, episodes go up, but since this one's literally going up on Christmas, I figure I should mention it. No, there will be no Christmas festivities, other than getting this double mind bomb. Haven't you always wanted one for Christmas? I got one. Five years ago. It didn't do me any good, though. Alright, so, evil's to the right, Harry and Marsha to the left, which means uh, there's only one room to check. And bingo. A lackey. <laughs> Company A, I'll get rid of you first. I'd like to see you try... Oh, well, I clicked a little too fast. Here's our opponent. He's got a glaive and a shotgun. Don't get too close, because the shotgun is very strong. Straight bomb. A speed pod. And long thrusters, just like me. I, I, I think I have long thrusters. Alright. I like to think I have long thrusters. No one's told me otherwise. Oh, I did not jump high enough. Yeah, that, that's the cool imagery of two strike banishers fighting each other, where it's just they're just teleporting around each other, and it's just cool. It's just cool. No, you can fire multiple bombs at once if your bomb will let you shoot multiple bombs. Like the cooldown of your weapon allows you to. And I'm close range. But the problem is he's also close range to me. I'll get some distance and uh, go at it again. Well, I certainly <laughs> layered that one box with bombs. Oh, well. Miss me with that shot. I'll take advantage of the sliding on the ice. That's what you, you do. Slide on ice. Just like Harry Potter. Downside to the javelin, its tackle does not, or collision does not uh, have invincibility frames. So you can go face first into enemy weapons, and it hurts. This health range, he probably kills me on a shotgun combo, so I don't want him to get close. have his straight bomb T. <laughs> now I've got your power. <laughs> Not bad. But with your skills, you're no match for Eliza. Long live Eliza! Long live Eliza! Who's Eliza? So we have a new name. But we don't know who that is. So, uh... Yes. What? No. <laughs> I thought he was saying that to the part generator. I got no time for parts. You will now. Uh, the straight bomb. Fires a bomb straight. And pretty quickly at that. It's very nice. Uh, so I guess we're going green here now. We're just gonna go a little green. There we go. Alright. Alright! Now we're good to go. Now let's see. Evil's still to the right. Marsha, are you okay? Uh, gone. Okay. Uh, Harry? Harry's still here. Hey, Harry. <laughs> yeah, they're Z, all right. They're pretty strong. Robobot, there may be more enemies. Go check outside the lab. <laughs> this guy's not bad. This will be a long battle. Is that your way of saying I shouldn't count on Harry to help me? 
Well, I <laughs> joke's on you, I never did in the first place. Alright. Well, I guess we're going outside. Oh, there's Marsha. What are you doing? On the ground? <laughs> Resisting Z, such a brave young girl. But you were just a tad overconfident about your strength, it seems. When you meet your better, the wisest course of action is to flee, you see. <laughs> Marsha, are you okay? <laughs> Robobot, run! I've never been in such a strenuous Harasim. She's too strong. <laughs> what should I do? Uh, are you talking to me or Marsha? Eliza? Um, let's see. We can fight, negotiate, or run away. Well, we're the hero, so we can never run. Uh, and you know what? You should always use your words first. Any chance I could convince you to uh, let us go quietly? Without a fight? Uh, a good question, but the answer is no. Let's try to be realistic from now on. No sense of humor. You beat Marsha. How can I possibly win? But I can't leave Marsha all alone. Robobot, don't. Forget about me. Please, run away. T don't worry, Marsha. I'm the protagonist. I'm going to give it my best shot. But I wish you'd cheer me on instead of telling me to run away. You'd make me feel more confident. Robobot. Oh, how touching. But you two obviously have some issues you'll need to work out on your own time. I've got a little lesson for the two of you. I'll teach you how foolish your notion of justice is. You make me sick. Ha 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 ha. So much anger for such a young, nice young boy. Looks like you need a spanking. Oh, uh. oh don't cry about it. After my lesson, you'll find you have many better reasons to cry. I... I... S something's happening in my pants. And well, there is something to note about her robo, the Athena. Not only that, her waxing arc weapon, they both have exclamation points, because they are ILLEGAL! Can't enter a tournament like this, but there's no refs in sight. Uh, basically, illegal parts are just better versions of whatever they're uh, copying. So Athena is uh, an aerial beauty that's just better than everyone else. She has an extra jump, just is overall better. Compared to, let's say, Marsha's Milky Way, you know, everything's just better across the board. And looks cooler, too. Uh, and then the waxing arc gun is the left arc gun, but what if it fired more shots and it homed better? And boy, do they home. Uh, it's got a right wave bomb, so she fires at the left and the right. The dolphin pod to go straight, and high jumps, because she jumps a lot. It's very fitting. Also, her Harasium, the panic cubes! The middle area, uh, the blocks tend to go up and down in varying patterns. Alright. And away we go! This, I would say, is basically the first real threat of the game, because it's your first illegal robo, it's the kind of a big boss, and oops, I pop first. Sorry. You're going down. I'm just going to shove her in a corner and push her down, because I can. She hit herself with her own bomb. Whoop. Go cockroaches. Girls don't like cockroaches. Oh, there goes her gun. Devastating. Oh, but she stayed too close. Alright, I've got the early advantage, but there's no letting up. Oh, Cockroach only does 30 damage. Wow. That's very powerful. Basically, the best way to fight this one is to just constantly strafe left and right, so that way your weapons can't properly target you. Since they go left and right. Like that. Just go counter to where her weapons go. Alright, one Gatling burst will finish her off. <laughs> Goodbye, my enemy. Oh. <laughs> nice try. Better luck next time. 
See, I don't know why Robot's so, like, freaking out, like, oh my god, Marsha got beat by this chick, how am I supposed to win? And, uh, Robot, you just beat Marsha in a tournament. Oh, what a surprise. Not bad. It looks like you're good enough to stand up to the Z Syndicate, after all. Well, I must be going. Things to do, you see. But you've done well, so I'm willing to forgive you this time. And I did have fun, I must say. So until we meet again, adieu. <laughs> I can't do that. Um, you know, should have had a French accent or something, but I can't really do that. I can barely do any accents. Anyway, Marsha! Get off the ground! <laughs> Are you two okay?! woman from Z was too strong. Don't tell me! You lost, Marsha? You're kidding! I'm sorry, but I lost. And Robo but defeated her? Hey, 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 you're not half bad. No, that's not right. During the battle, she said that our time was up and left. Huh? Robot, that really did not happen. You defeated her, and then she said she ran out of time. Even though Robot knew he was going to lose, he still fought. No, I I was going to win. <laughs> well, anyway, she was strong. Good work, Ro, but you did well. <laughs> Look, I didn't do anything. <laughs> just accept it, okay? <laughs> By the way, the guy I just fought dropped his RoboCube when he escaped. More like you tripped him and then took it from him, right? <laughs> this is it. Let me see it, Harry. I'll try to half-dive. <laughs> what should I say? Don't be so rash! Are you okay? Now you're talking! No, we have to care about her well-being. Are you okay? I'm fine. This is nothing. Don't worry. It'll be okay. Leave it to me. You're saying all these things and I can't believe any of it. Are you okay, Marcia? You, you don't sound okay. Fine. Z's boss, the one in charge, died. Factions, groups, they split up, scattered. <laughs> what was it? A power struggle or something? A dispute among the groups, something like that. I'm not too sure. <laughs> hmm, a dispute over power. So what was the reason for hitting the lab? That, I don't know. They were looking for something. <laughs> I don't get it. But they must think there's something powerful here that will help them out. <laughs> so whatever they're looking for is here? <laughs> You'd think so. We need to ask Linda. <laughs> Just what are they after, Linda? <laughs> Don't hide it from us. You have to tell us if we're going to help you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't think of anything. Nothing comes to mind. I'll check to see if anything's been stolen. It looks like the researchers' desks and shelves have been tampered with. <laughs> oh, sorry, we did that. <laughs> I told you it should have been tidier. <laughs> Well, it's too late now! You were the one who's tearing through all the paperwork! Harry, you were the one who told him to. Marsha, you were in on it too! I know. Let's just pretend it didn't happen. You're right! What is it? What are you whispering about? Oh, nothing. Should we report this to the police? Yes, it involved a Z Syndicate strike. We should report it. We better split if the police guard's gonna show up. I don't want to run into my sister here. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Robobutt, good work. We're done for the day. What are you going to do after this? You know me. Wandering around. <laughs> Don't stay out late. Make sure you go home. Marsha, want to go home with me? I think Harry is going to be pestering Linda. I'll stay here to make sure he doesn't. <laughs> My sis is going to show up soon, so I think I might leave. <laughs> but Linda looks like she could use some cheering up before I go home. You better take off. I never imagined Z would want anything to do with our labs. Me neither. Lab techs, where are you? Come out, so I can talk to you. Teach me about pods. You were the ones who drove Z away, right? I want my son to become a great commander like you. Well, he's basically me from another timeline. What's Z after? What do they want with our labs? It must be as valuable as the custom robot. Were the other hits planned by Z? The cameras didn't catch anyone, so I thought it was someone from inside the lab. What? An inside job? But who could it have been? Why, the Steel Hearts crew was all there, and... Evil, were you there? Hmm, going home? 
The researchers are back for work. I'll tell them about Z. Don't worry. Leave it to me. I do worry, Evil. I worry a lot. Oh, hello. I'm finally done. I had to do all the cleaning after the rain. Then, when I get home, I'm gonna have to clean up the house. I'm sick of cleaning. Oh. I know that feeling. I heard Z attack yesterday. First the burglary attempt, and now this. I'm so scared I can't concentrate on my work. I think I'll go home. My chocolate bar. It's gone. Gone for good. Curse you, Z! Curse you all! Yesterday, I was hungry and I ate that guy's chocolate bar. I thought I'd get away with it if I bought a new one the next day, but because of the raid, you discovered my crime. Your secret's safe with me. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Eliza didn't give us a new part. Basically a boss fight, and she didn't give us anything. Like, come on. Well, I guess we, uh, did learn about illegal parts. I heard the Z Syndicate hit the lab yesterday. Hmm. Was it really Z? I thought Harry, the one who was flirting with Sherry, was awfully suspicious. I think you're jealous. Of Harry, of all people. You should be ashamed. Evil told me what happened last night. When Z raided the research center, Evil defeated them one by one. And you steal heart freaks were quivering in your strangely massive boots. And you call yourselves bounty hunters. You really are a bunch of losers. What? And my boots are not comically large. They're almost as big as yours. Just, you know, a size or two up. But that's because I'm... I've got big feet, okay? And you know what they say about big feet, right, Sherry? I heard about last night. Thanks for your help. I'm terrified knowing that Z is after us. See? I mean, wait. Whatever. I don't need this. I don't need any of this. I'm going home. Any techs outside want to teach me about, like, uh, how air dashing works? No? Okay. I guess I'll just never know. We'll make our usual rounds across the town. My restaurant is still closed. It's a problem. I'm getting bored. If you're closed, why is there food on the table? Why, so I can be ready for when they let me reopen the restaurant, of course. So you make fresh meals every day and then throw them out when the day's done? I'd never do that. That would be a waste. Until I can open the food. The food... Uh, what? Until I can open the restaurant, the food stays. Don't worry. I'll toss it if it spoils. Ew! What the... Here we go again. It's been shaking like this for a while now. Is there construction going on? No. No Dendai done. And suddenly the music stopped. Eerie. Alright. Oh wait, nothing this way. And yet I love going this way. Park! The Chinese restaurant, Daimon, is closed for a while. But the restaurant always smells delicious. I wonder why. I was wondering what Z stands for. Zerbla burble burble? No, that can't be it. Actually, you are spot on. I would know because <laughs> I'm a member of Z. Don't tell anyone. I wonder what the Z stands for. Z avocado? Does that sound right? No, it was the other one. It's a burble burble. Yeah. If you turn your safety switch on, you can reduce the damage you do during a battle. That's why you turn your safety switch on during battle tournaments. That way you don't get too hurt, but you do get really tired. It is a sport after all. What? 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 Okay. Too bad there isn't a two-on-two -two tournament, right, honey? If it were, we could enter and fight together. At least she isn't complaining about being stuck in the park. Nice change of pace. I, I just love that they add all these new dialogue op- like, uh, I was gonna say dialogue options. These dialogues for all these characters between everything, because it's just- it makes the world feel alive. Hey, Robobot, thanks for last time. I was shocked when I found out that someone from Z was involved in that battle bet. But everything should be fine from here on out. Still, I don't think that I'm the only one- the only place that has these problems. Hello, I've got tomorrow off. 
It seems like these days, whatever you do, wherever you go, whatever you do, there's some Z guy running around. So I don't know where to go on my day off. I am a little scared. You can come to my house, waiter. I'll be waiting. He probably hated that. He's a waiter, and I told him I'd be waiting. God, I blew it. In order to enter the battle tournament, you need a Class D license. I'm gonna work real hard for it. Good. I'm thinking of entering the next battle tournament. I'm going to find myself a nice-looking guy there. I'm gonna work real hard to get my license. <laughs> You've got a nice-looking guy right here! He's the one on the machine over there. We just had a battle tournament two or three days ago, and it looks like we're having another one already. We've never had so many tournaments so quickly. Anyway, I'm gonna pass my Class C test. Oh my god, he's gonna be better than me. Dang it, why is this Class B license test so hard? Maybe I should have started with the Class D test. Yeah, maybe. Huh? Welcome, there's another battle tournament starting soon. As a result, many people are trying out for their licenses. Yes. I, I've heard. I have heard. And the gym. The gym. Welcome. Oh, hi, champ. I'm sorry, but you can't train here anymore. Huh? Why? Is it because I became champion? Is that why I can't train here? The, the office pays for my membership, right? Ernest canceled his dear heart's membership. Said he couldn't afford it anymore. He can't afford to pay his new hire's salary and the membership fee, so no more membership. That's what he said anyway. That can't be! I hardly got a chance to train here! But you're already champion. You don't need to train. You're always welcome to watch. Watching is free. Uh, are you... Are you... I'll, I'll let that drop. My father and I have a dream for me to become a great commander! I've got a lot of work ahead of me. I'll be practicing with this computer for the time being. You know, you should really graduate from bot games. Honestly, head right into ranked. It's where you really improve. Test your metal. My opponent always comes here every day. I always spar with him. And uh, maybe challenge other computers. I cannot spar with a non-member. I am sorry. Oh, this is classist. I heard there's going to be another big tournament soon. We're thinking of entering the whole family this time, so we're training together. <laughs> I have a goal, and I'm training to achieve it. Uh, what's your goal, sir? Don't use the same parts all the time, Wendy. The difference between winning and losing can be as simple as the parts you're using. You are not a member, are you? And I cannot buy you. I'm having Will coach me. There's so many different ways I could customize, so I'm having a hard time deciding. Me too. I usually just pick all the ones that are the same color. All right. Um, one last stop before home. The Steel Hearts. Artist. What's up? Oh, it's you, robot. Got a call from Marcia. Looks like Z again, eh? I wonder why Z is after the lab. What makes you think I know? It's not like I'm a Z member. Don't get too involved, though. We did it as a favor for Linda. Now it's a police job. Ernest, you're getting a little sketchy here. You can go home for today. You've got work again tomorrow. Ernest, if you were a Z member, you'd tell me, right? Because I need to know, as I'm also a Z member. <laughs> Zero burble. All right. And finally, the home. Lucy, I'm home. <laughs> oh, Robo Butt, I went to go wake you up, but you weren't in your bed. Did you uh, wake up by yourself? N no, I've been at work. I've been up since yesterday. Oh, I see. You must be exhausted. Get to sleep. It's still bright out. Are you arguing with me, your landlady? I said go to bed. You go to sleep right now. You better wake up tomorrow without my help. Uh, my neighbors are gone. Can I go in their house? Robo, but don't go in there. Walt and his family have gone out. All right, what about your office, though? Robo, but that's my office. You're not thinking of sleeping in there, are you? No, ma'am. All right. Um, well... Uh, that's called a, it's called a end to this day, I guess, and, and an end to this part, I suppose, because, uh, Christmas and all. 
I mean, I'm not recording this on Christmas, but you get it. The same difference. Um, Merry Christmas, one and all! Or Bah Humbug, if you're into that. See you next time. <laughs>